started. I'm really excited about this one. I found on a player piano a YouTube video and I hadn't seen a video for it yet, so I wanted to share it. We're gonna start with our F chord. We have F, the pinky, C on your thumb, A on your thumb here, and C in your middle finger. The trill will be from the outsides to the insides. And then we're going to the F7 chord, so we're going to add that flat 7th as fast as you can. So we're going to do F, F7, and again, F, F7. And we're going to move that whole shape over to B flat chord. So B flat, F, D, and F. Normally the B flat chord is B flat, D, and F. We're just spacing it out a little bit for this voicing. So you're gonna do the same thing, trill, and then B flat seven, we're gonna use that A flat on top here. Okay. All right, so that's the intro. So let's do it one more time. Now the pattern for this one kind of tripped me up at the beginning. So let's do the left hand pattern for a second. So I think I'm used to doing it the other way around, doing these four um, first. Um, so it's, we're going from the fifth to the sixth and then down to the flat third. So let's try that left hand pattern. Yep, and with the right hand, you just play the chord right on it. Bum. Then you're gonna move to the C. So that's a little variation of that. So bum on the fifth. Flat seventh, and then the third. Then to the B flat chord. And then you can go down to here to get back to the F. So let's just take a look at the left hand one more time. We're starting with the F chord. To the C, then B flat. Okay. Now the right hand has some punches here, so we go. So the first thing we do after we play our main chord in our right hand, we move to the inversion with C on the bottom, C, F, A, C. Okay, let me do that again. And that's leading to the C7 chord. Okay, so it'll go. One more time. So let's see what that looks like with both. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four. All right, after that, when we're doing this little pattern, we're doing 
So this is a little bit of a syncopation here. So watch one more time. One more time. Two, three, four. And then so you can slide off of the C sharp there. Tritone. And then landing on the F chord there. One more time. run it starts on the D C B flat A flat G D F okay. uh, let's get it going with the left hand so I can remember this riff here so we have a roll up C D E F G and then we have a C and an A flat together leading to the A flat instead of the same thing from before. So with the left hand, the riff. So we're always doing this little riff and this little chord at the top, okay, for the F. Then when it moves to B flat, I'm just doing a piece of that B flat seven sound instead and doing a, an inversion. A flat C D F of this B flat seven chord or So and then back to the F. Then we have a C chord on top, C E G C. more time. All right, the right hand is now walking up to the third. Then we have the seventh and the ninth on top. And then we're just going to come down in a little chromatic way there.
to use this fingering. And then you do the same thing over your B flat chord. We are walking up to the third of the chord. And then we have that flat seven and ninth on top. And just coming down kind of semi-chromatically. cadence working on it. If you have any questions, I look forward to doing part two once I learn part two. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.